Hi guys, us again, here just to show you a quick high street makeup look. If you'd like to see how I got this, carry on watching. As a full eyeshadow, I'm using the Revolution Shook palette, idealistic as a transition colour above the lid with a fluffy brush. You can get these palettes from Superdrug or the Revolution website for around about £10. It's an amazing little palette with the pigment. Just remember to keep blending and blending. There's Skylar sitting on my feet. Thank you, Skylar. So now on a smaller brush, I'm taking Reckless and popping it into the outer V of my eye and the crease. My preference for brushes are real techniques, but obviously any brush will work for this. So go back to the bigger fluffy brush and blend the crease colour into the transition colour that you put on before. And for the lid, to add a little bit of sparkle, we'll pop a Dynamic. This is an easy, everyday, cheap makeup look to do. Very quick and something you can just pop on to run out of the door with. I've gone back to idealistic and just popped a little more to make it higher on my lid and I'm just blending that in to reckless. Just remember that eyeshadows are buildable and you can always make it darker so a little bit of the time earn the brush and keep adding till you get the res desired result. For eyeliner, I am using the Rimmel Wonder Wing Eyeliner in black. Eyeliner for me, the same as most people, is a royal pain in the backside. So, give me a minute. I'm one of these people that like a thick eyeliner. I don't know why, I just like the way it looks. But this eyeliner is really good because it has a different shape to the end of it, so you can either have it thick or thin, and it's very good if you like to do a winged liner. For my waterline, I am using a PS eyeliner. It's in a champagne colour, but unfortunately it doesn't tell you on it what the colour is called. But it's a really nice make natural colour to pop on the waterline and open up your eyes. For mascara, I'm using Rimmel's Wonderfully Real in Black. I picked this up from Boots just to give it a go, and it's quite a good mascara. Usually I use Rimmel's Telescopic Mascara, but I thought I'd have a change.
That's it, and once you've done that, I go back to Reckless and place it under the outer half of the bottom lid. And blend in dynamic in the center and the tear duct. I'm just adding a little bit of dynamic to the brow bone to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Mascara on the bottom lashes. Some people don't like doing this because they think they're wearing spiders, but I actually really like the way it looks. And there you go, something quick and something easy. You can ready to run out of the door. Just remember to pop your setting spray on. I like the Revolution Matte Oil Control Spray. And there we go, that's the finished result. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share, like and subscribe. Everything I've used will be in the description down below and we will see you very soon. Ciao.